Hello, Raphael Honigstein here. It's a new season, it's a new West Ham, and European football is almost upon us. To celebrate, West Ham have brought in one of the top, top, top Germans. And there's a new player as well. He's been capped 20 times for Germany. He's won three leagues, three cups. He is, of course, the wonderful Thilo Kera. Hi, Thilo, welcome to London. Thank what you. attracted you to the Hammers? Obviously, it's a very big club. Um, it's the biggest league uh, in the world, which is very attractive. And uh, just uh, in general, the talks with, with the manager, um, all the, the positive messages that I got from, from all the fans, uh, just, just all the love and, and, uh, and all the excitement that, that I share as well. What did David Moyes say to you to get you over here? Basically, we, we just talked about, about the project, about, about the club, the fans, the, the team as well, and, and his idea of, of playing football, which, which was very interesting to me and, and, also, and also my role that, that I want to have in this team. There's a player here that you've played with before, Afonso Ariola. Did you have a mm. chance to talk to him before you moved? Yeah, we just, uh, we just had uh, one or two calls in the last day. And as well from, from him, I just, I just had positive, positive feedback, um, positive things about, about the club, about, about the city, about the life here. So uh, uh, it's all good and I'm happy to see him. For those who might have not seen that much of you, how would you describe your style of play? Um, I would describe it as a very dynamic, um, athletic style of playing with clean passing. Um, aggressive defending in the duels and uh, I think uh, I, have a, I have a good header. I can, I'm not the tallest defender I think but I, I, uh, I, can, I can jump pretty high so it's uh, balancing. <laughs> Growing up Tilo, was there somebody who was almost like a role model for you? Somebody that you looked up to or tried to get some ideas from when it comes to, to playing your position? Yeah, I think there was quite a few. Uh, I tried to uh, look as much, much as possible uh, on, on players that, that, look, that play the same position than, than I do. So I, I quite had uh, a few defenders where I always try to, to look at, at a lot of things. Um, it was uh, Sergio Ramos back in the days, uh, Puyol, but also also Rio Ferdinand or, or John Terry. You're very, very versatile. We've seen you play for Germany as a right back, as a centre back, as a left back. You've also played in defensive midfield. Where will we see you play for West Ham? Uh, we will see, we will see. Um, I talked to the coach and, and uh, I think the, the most common position for me is, is uh, as a central back. Um, I can help also in, in, in the other positions, as you said. But um, the main position I would I would say is, is a centre back. This will be your first time playing in England. What do you make of the Premier League? Yeah, obviously it's it's the best league in the world. Um, it's uh, it's uh, all the teams have, have quality players. Um, you have a lot of big teams, um, intensity games. Uh, I, I used to like to watch the Premier League uh, since since very young. So uh, I'm very excited to be here now. Are there any players you enjoyed uh, watching particularly or perhaps you maybe modelled your games on a little bit in the Premier League? Yeah, of course. Obviously there's, there's a lot of great players in, in the Premier League and uh, as a defender obviously you, you look a little bit more um, as on the defensive side of the teams. Um, but just in general, I would say it's, it's just great to watch uh, Premier League football. What about uh, the season ahead? What are your targets? What are your dreams? What are your aspirations? What do you think is realistic if you can beat this fly yeah. <laughs> uh, for, for the season ahead? I think we have a, we have a really, really good team and, and, a, and a great project here. Um, also, I talked already to the manager and I would say that uh, we my, my biggest goal is now to get to know everybody, to, to, get, um, to get into the team and, and, and uh, integrate myself as, as quick as possible and um, grow with the team and, and create, create a, a, a good vibe, a good, a good team spirit and, and just go on, uh, on, on having good games together. You've won a lot of silverware over in Paris, three leagues, three cups, mm -hmm. you played in the Champions League final. Can you bring that mentality to East London? 
obviously, obviously that's that's what I want. I mean, um, playing four years in, in, in PSG is is um, creating a sort of, 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 of winning mentality, and, and also that's what I want, what I want to bring here, of course, um, to win games as much as possible, and that's it. You're a regular for Germany as well. I think Hansi Flick has used you more than any other player since he's taken over. What does that say about you and your versatility? Yeah, I think um, it's uh, now one year since Hansi Flick took over the national team and he's, bring, bring, he's brought a lot of new ideas to, to the team, to, to the national team, a new way of, of playing, a new style of playing that, that uh, I think fits me as well. So I'm happy to, to be a good part uh, of the team and, and we have big goals as well. So this year we have the World Cup and we want to, we want to play a good part in that. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to, for that as well. European football is coming back as well. Did you follow West Ham's exploits last season and do you think they can go on a similar run? Yeah, I, I, followed, I followed it last year. Of course, uh, uh, and, and I saw the, the semi-final also against Frankfurt. And I think it's possible. I think it's possible to, to, yeah, to go far again uh, in, in Europe and, and I'm pretty sure it's one of, the, one of the targets also for this season. If David Moyes needs you against Viborg, are you ready to play? I'm ready to play, yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and finally, do you have a message for the West Ham fans? Yeah, um, thank you to all the fans for, for, for the warm welcome, for, um, for all the, the positive, nice messages. And uh, I'm very happy to, to see you as soon as possible at the stadium. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it, West Ham fans. That's the lowdown. I'm very excited to see him play. You should be too.